So, I am going to do a little grocery haul and dinner with me video for you here. Um, so, I wanted to let y'all know, um, I ordered from Instacart, which I don't know if you have it in your area. Um, I just found out about it, but our Aldi here has it, and they deliver the groceries, like, to your house. I'm not kidding. I ordered the groceries at, like, 9.20, and they were at my house before 10 o'clock. It was, like, now, I didn't need a ton of stuff, but um, we ended up last night in the emergency room. Gavin split the back of his head. We had to, He had to have some staples, so I didn't want to take him to the store. He had to stay home from school today which means I had to stay home from uh, work. So I needed to pick up a couple things to do dinner and I just thought, I'm gonna try it and just see how I like it. So, we're gonna go through the bags. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I got and then I'm gonna show you what I'm putting together for dinner. So, um, if you saw my um, kitchen uh, pantry declutter organize video, you know I got containers for flour and sugar and stuff like that, so I needed some things to fill them. So flour, that one I just opened. I got a thing of brown sugar. I needed some baking soda. And then just some regular sugar. can of black beans. Uh, my husband likes this um, Suave 3-in-1 and they don't sell it a lot of places but they had it there and they had it on sale today. When you get on there it will show you any coupons that they have um, just like this one. The um, Dawn um, dishwashing detergent. I think there was like a $2 off coupon, so it was 99 cents. Then you just click on it and it like automatically applies the coupon. So, um, Gavin's chocolate almond milk. I got a thing of raspberries. A thing of blueberries. A thing of strawberries. I like these, um, it's just, I think, the Aldi brand taco seasoning, and this is the 25% lower sodium ones, and so I usually stock up. I got just some cheese slices, butter, some um, strawberry fruit bars. A pack of turkey bacon. A bag of this taco style cheese. And then a big thing of the chicken breasts. And in this bag I just have some bananas and a cantaloupe which everything looks good. It's always um, nerve wracking when you order like produce and stuff because like I like, for me at least, I like to pick out my own produce just because I like to see what I'm getting. Um, but they did a great job. I mean, all of the stuff looks good. I mean, strawberries, of course, there's some that are not that great, but usually the strawberries, we don't eat fresh a lot. A lot of times I will cut them the boys will eat a couple of them fresh, and then I freeze them, and we use them for smoothies, and they like to eat them frozen anyway. So, it was perfect. It ended up being like $48 maybe for all of it. Um, so, that was great. And that will get us through tonight and tomorrow night, and then, of course, chicken will be longer than that because that is uh, almost six pounds of chicken. Um, they're... Big old chicken breasts. So, anyway, now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. 
So here I am just going to get my chicken breasts ready. We're going to clean them up, cut any other little pieces of fat off. Um, you can do however you would like. You can cube your chicken or you can leave them whole. Now normally I do use a crock pot liner, but I was out and I didn't look before I made my grocery order. So I cleaned my chicken and then just put it into my crock pot and turn it on low. Now I'm going to add some salsa. Here I ended up using two cups of salsa only because um, I have this giant container. Normally I would only use about a cup, a cup and a half, just depending. But these were giant chicken breasts, so I thought two cups would be fine. You can use as much or as little as you would like. Also, you can use any kind of salsa and then one packet of taco seasoning and like i showed in my video this is the low sodium taco seasoning from aldi so i then just add a little bit of water at the bottom just so it has some so it doesn't stick when it starts cooking and then i turn it on low and i just let it cook all day i don't usually time it um and then it turns out like this it's fall apart you can just shred it um, and use it for lots of different things. You don't have to use it for tacos like we did. You could use this on a taco salad. You could use this on a um, quesadilla. There's plenty of different things you could use this for. This is a really easy weeknight. Um, throw it in the crock pot. It's quick and it's done. So. As you can see here, I'm just shredding it, and then it also shows you that we had um, Spanish rice and some black beans, and then I just fried up some little corn tortillas, and we used those to eat the chicken with. So, I hope you guys enjoy this kind of video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!